introduction uh, oh, to Lux. Um, I don't know why I do a little <laughs> dance every time, but here we are. Um, we're doing an introduction to logarithms today, okay? So logarithms are these weird things that students are always like, what is this? What are we doing? Oh my gosh. Um, just, you know, chill. <laughs> It'll be all right, all right? Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. So when we talk about introductions to logs, so you need some a little bit of prior knowledge to come with you, right? So first of all, your prior knowledge um, has to do with exponents. So how many times would you have to double $1 before you had $8, right? So you have $1, uno, right? Let's double it. How many am I going to have now? Those, okay? But if I double that, what am I going to have? I'm going to have $4 now. And then if I double four, what am I going to have? Now I'm going to have eight. So how many times did I have to double it? Um, you can use exponential functions to model the situation. So that would be one dollar doubling. That's my rate, my growth rate, right? Because we learned about this in exponential functions, my growth rate, and then x. So what does x have to be for that to equal eight? That's the question that we're asking ourselves right now, right? So I already know that is is three times. I double it three times, I'm gonna get eight. That makes sense, right? Because two cubed equals eight. Okay. Um, so more prior knowledge before we keep going We're on a journey here, okay? Um, exponential functions are y equals a times b to the x, where b is the base and x is the exponent, right? Um, the variable has to be an exponent for an exponential function, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you to change from exponential function to what we call log, to exponential notation into logarithmic notation, okay? Logs are the inverse of exponential functions. So we learned about inverses already also, okay? So when you're looking at a graph that swoops up as exponential, if I mirror it over the line y equals x, I'm gonna get a logarithmic um, function, okay? Miss Bernard, what are you talking about? Okay, great, we'll move on. <laughs> so what you need to know is that b is gonna be your base because it's all about that base. And then x is gonna be your exponent, okay? This is what a log looks like. You actually write the word log. And you're, I know you're like, why are there even more letters in math? It's just a way for us to denote something, okay? To label something. Like an exponent, I make it a tiny number and I move it up, right? Well, when it's a log, I actually write out the word log, okay? So how do you change from one to the other? Well, I invented this thing my first year of teaching called the loop-de-loop. -loop. I know, such a fancy name, right? So when you have a loop-de-loop, -loop, what you do is you loop from the base to the answer to the exponent, okay? So in that order, first is the base, then is the answer then is the exponent and that's how you write it so you would say log base b so whatever that b was i bring that down to be a tiny number but now it's under it's a subscript not a superscript i know you're like you're doing too much <laughs> it's okay once you we're just following directions right now okay um and then you put the answer next to the log base b so that's where the a goes and then equals whatever the exponent was in this case the exponent was an x but if it was a five i would say equals five okay um, so the base is a subscript, the exponent is going to turn out to be your answer, and the way that I read that is log base b of a equals x. <laughs> Don't lose me. I really hope you have a sheet of paper. I didn't say it at the beginning. I should have said it, that you should be taking some notes because hello. All right. So I'm going to ask you to convert from exponential to logarithmic, all right? So, first of all, exponential form, 3 to the power of 5 equals 243. What you going to do? Log base 3 of 243 equals 5. Again, you do the little loop-de-loop -loop in your head. Your answer is going to be your exponent. That's what you got to think. Your answer, it, my answer has to be the exponent. Okay? And your base stays the same. So, 3 is my base in the exponential form and then in logarithmic form it says log base three because that's how i read it we try to make connections here because i know this is foreign to you okay so 25 to the one half equals five do a little loop de loop in your head you're gonna get log base 25 of five equals one half exponent is your answer exponent is your answer say it with me exponent is your answer okay so 10 to the power of four equals 10,000. how do i write that in logarithmic form loop de loop 
exponent is your answer. Exponent is your answer. So log base 10 of 10,000 equals four. What you're gonna learn is anytime something is in base 10, I just call it a log. I don't need to write the little 10 at the bottom, but we'll get there, okay? Um, six to the negative one equals one sixth. Loop de loop, exponent is your answer. Exponent is your answer. I cannot say that. So log base six of one sixth equals negative one. You need to learn to read math. It helps, I promise. I promise it helps when you learn to read math, okay? Um, is this the last one? Last one. A to the power of B equals C. Oh, yeah. Letters, is it even having numbers? It's the same algorithm no matter what. Follow the pattern. Follow the pattern. Log base what of what equals what? What does it have to equal? The exponent. What's the exponent? It's B in this case. You already know that part, right? Okay. And then what are you going to do? Log base A of C equals B. It should just come naturally, baby. Um, okay. So now we're going to do logarithmic to exponential because you know in math if you can go forwards you gotta be able to go backwards okay um so i have logarithmic form to exponential form. so i have log base 9 of 81 equals 2 so in the last section i kept saying the exponent is your answer the exponent is your answer so we got to take that we got to go backwards i have my answer has to be my exponent my answer has to be my exponent my answer has to be my exponent right so 9 squared equals 81 all right try that next one without me pause the video oh my gosh you got this, okay? Your answer has to be your exponent. Your answer has to be your exponent. Your answer has to be your exponent, right? So three cubed equals 27. Log x1 equals zero. Your answer has to be your exponent. Your answer has to be your exponent. x to the zero equals one. And we know this because anything to the power of zero equals one. This should be making sense, okay? Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. All right, um, log base nine of nine equals one. My answer is the exponent. My answer is the exponent. Nine to the first power equals nine. That makes sense, right? Nine to the first power does equal nine. Yay. Um, log base two of 512 equals nine. You need to learn to read the math. Okay? My answer is the exponent. My answer is the exponent. Two to the power of nine equals 512, baby. Okay. Um, log base eight of two equals one third. 8 to the 1 third equals 2. And that's true because the cube root of 8 equals 2. The 1 third exponent is a cube root. Last but not least, do this one by yourself. I'll wait. I should put a little timer on the screen when I say I'm going to wait. Next level. Next time. Next time. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have 4 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 16. See, that's not bad. Oh, wait. There's one more. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I'll wait now. Okay, b to the power of zero equals one. Yay, you did it. That's not bad. Okay, first two skills out of the way, Pff, fine. Common logs. Okay, so common logs are, anytime you have a log base 10, it is called a common log, okay? When no base is written, the base is 10. So if you have log, no base is written, x, that means log base 10, okay? So if your answer is in base 10, you don't need to write the 10, the little tiny 10 at the bottom. We are going to understand, hey, that's a base 10, okay? That's, we call that the common log, okay? Um, we like to use bases of 10 as humans because we have 10 fingers. If we had nine fingers, I bet all of our life would be in base nine, but that's, an, that's a whole another story for a whole another day. Okay, um, so let's evaluate using a mental math. Log base what? There's no number there, so what's the base? 10, good job! Log base 10 of 0 0.01 equals what? Question mark, right? So here's where we use the loop-de-loop, -loop. I know, my very technical term, for changing something from a logarithm to an exponent, okay? So I'm going to write 10 to the power of what equals 0 0.01. Some of you, if you know how to read math, you know that 0 0.01 is 1 100th. Somebody in elementary school should have taught you that. That's not my job, but here we are, okay? So what power of 10 is 100? It's 2, right? But it's at the bottom, and I want to bring it to the top. So negative 2. 10 to the negative 2 power equals 0 0.001. So the answer to the question is negative 2. Okay. Mental math is fun. Keep saying.
saying that to yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, example two and example three. Uh, uh, uh. Um, so log base five of 125 equals question mark. I'm going to do my loop-de-loop. -loop. If there's not a question mark in your um, problem, I would just put it equals question mark myself so that I can rearrange it. So that's basically going to tell me to do five question mark. Because remember, your answer is the exponent. Five question mark equals 125. Five to the what power? What does that need to equal? What does that exponent need to be? Five cubed. The answer is three. Okay, do that next one by yourself. I'll be very impressed. Please and thank you. Where are we at? 14 minutes so far. 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7. I look like I'm praying. 2, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, what, did you, what did you do? You should have rearranged it. So I should have gotten 5 question mark, 1 fifth. That 5 is at the bottom. 5 to the what power equals 5. 5 to the first power. But it's on the bottom and I need to bring it up. So if it's positive here, it's going to become negative. So question mark equals negative 1. That's the answer to the problem. Yes, it is, baby. Okay. Um, two more. Uh, why are those, those off-centered? Like, why would I do that? Anyway, <laughs> log base 25 of 0 0.04 equals what? I'm going to do my loop-de-loop. -loop, very technical term. Um, 25 question mark equals 0 0.04. Hmm. Look at you. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a little, you got to, where are we going here? What does that mean? 0 0.04 is 4 over 100. You're like, Miss Bernard, but 25 to the power of something is not 100. 25 times 4 is 100, but not 25 to the fourth power. 25 to the fourth power is some huge number, right? So what is, what's happening here? Well, let's reduce our fraction, right? Let's simplify that fraction. What is it going to turn out to be? Oh, 1 over 25. Now we're onto something, right? 25 to the what power equals 25? 25 to the first power, but it's at the bottom. We need to bring it to the top. So the answer is negative one. You see how all the lessons are coming together, the negative exponents and the zero exponents and the positive and the, and the exponential form and the, it's all coming in. No, no, you don't think so? Okay. Okay. So example number five, wait, example number five. Um, so you have log base what? There's no number there. So when there's no number there, what is it? It's a base 10. Good. So log base 10 of 0 0.00001 equals what? That is the question. We'll do our little fancy loop-de-loop. -loop, and then I rewrite it. And I say 10 to the power of what equals 0 0.00001. Okay? What is that number? This is where learning math helps. Okay? So that's 1 over 100,000. That's 1 100,000. Okay? So 10 to the power of what equals 100,000? That's the question. Well, it's 5, but it's at the bottom of the fraction, so when I bring it up, it's positive, so now it's going to be negative 5. Yay! Anyway, <laughs> um, the next example, log base what? What's the base? It don't tell me, so what does it have to be? 10! Good job! Okay? Point zero 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 one. Okay? Equals what? Well, still got to do our loop-de-loop -loop here. So I'm going to say 10 question mark equals, did I write the wrong number of zeros? I'll fix it. You won't even notice that I didn't fix it. Anyway, um, so I'm going to have 1 over 10,000. Ooh, look at me. And then what's that going to be? How many times do I have, or what does the exponent have to be for the 10 for me to be able to get 10,000 at the bottom? Well, 10 to the fifth power is 10,000. And then, um, we set the bottom, so I got to move it to the top. Hey, look at me. Um, log base 25 of 0 0.04. This is the same, this is the same slide. It sure is. We're just going to ignore this. <laughs> um, and we're going to move on to uh, graphing, okay? So um, when we graph, what you need to know is that logs are the inverse of exponentials. So we learned how to graph um, inverses the other day, right? Before this lesson, you should learn how to graph inverses. So what you're going to, well, this is what we're going to talk about right now. So I have y equals log base 2 of x. But you're like, Mr. Bernard, I don't know how to plug that in. What's going on? I have no idea. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to use the inverse. 
and the inverse is y equals 2 to the power of x because remember my base uh-huh um is going to come over so i know how to do this one this is what the graph of y equals 2 to the power of x equals swoop beautiful now what i know is that the inverse has to be the reflection over the line y equals x right so now i can take my original problem and i can just reflect it across that line and boom look at me i have the graph of an inverse it's really that simple okay if y'all want to graph a logarithmic function i find it's matching exponential function graph it reflect the points across y equals x or switch the y values with the x values same thing and then I'll, boom okay um use the x values negative two negative one zero one two those every math teacher's favorite x values um and we're going to graph the function and the inverse so let's say i have y equals 1.25 to the power of x um what's going to happen is i'm going to put that into the calculator and i'm going to get a table okay oh so this is what i'm going to do set up my table first yay me okay and we're gonna put that function into the calculator. So watch me, watch me, do, 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 go to the y equals screen, 1.25, the little exponent to the power of x, um, and then we're gonna press second and table, and look at that, it does all of the beautiful, wonderful work for me. So I'm just gonna scroll up and find the values that I'm looking for, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug them into the graph, okay? So look at those values, 0 0.64, 0 0.81, 1.25, and 1.5625. So I'm just gonna take the, that, and I'm gonna graph them. Swoop, look at that. So now it says to graph the inverse of the function. So log base 1.25 to the power uh, of x, log base 1.25x. So now that I know that all I have to do is I have to take this and I have to switch my x values with my y values. Um, so instead of the x values being in the x column, I'm gonna put them in the y column. Instead of the y values being in the y column, put them in the x column. Whoop, it's not that hard, swoop. Swoop, 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 and swoop. You see how they just switched places right there? So now that they switched places, I can plot them, and we all know that they're gonna reflect across the line y equals x. So we're looking good, baby. Swoop. Yay, us. We did, we did, we did. Okay, last slide. Last slide. Um, logs on the calculator. So your calculator only operates in base 10 and base E. We're not talking about that yet. Um, so we you need to i'm gonna just teach you how to use the calculator hello um so log base 10 button i even circled it so we're gonna look at that so um we're gonna do three examples i believe so let's say i have log base 10 of 10 right what is that gonna equal it's gonna equal one why because 10 to the first power equals 10. log base 10 of 0 0.1 or 0 0.01 equals negative two because that's one one hundredth right so 10 to the power of 2, move it to the top, becomes negative. Log base 10 of what is that, 1,000? Um, it's real tiny on this little screen. I know y'all can't tell, but phew, hello. Um, is 3 because 10 to the third power equals 1,000. So we're going to go backwards now on the other side. So if you wanted to check your answers, you will press the log button, but then you will press the blue button. Um, and then you will say 10 to the first power, that equals 10. We already talked about that. That's how you check the first one. And then I say 10 to the negative 2 power, that's going to equal 0 0.01. And then 10 to the third power, which was our last answer, equals 1,000. Look at us, we did it. Okay, so the calculator will help you. Let it help you, baby. Let it help you. Um, that inc that concludes. I'm trying to set up for a good freeze frame right now. That's what I got to do at the end. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, go back to the video. I say this every time. <laughs> Um, and see if you can get the examples without my help again. Okay? And then, you know, if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.